While I'll be damned, AMC stock back on the threshold securities list as per the New York Stock Exchange as of Friday. What does this mean? Where is AMC going? Short sellers are fucked. Okay. Let's get into all of this information. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. So first things first, AMC stock is back on the threshold securities list. Not a new thing for AMC. But what's happening here and how do you get on the threshold securities list for people that are unfamiliar? Being on the threshold securities list means you have had a transaction, multiple transactions, or one large transaction that failed to clear, failed to deliver. And there is an obligation to obviously deliver, to do your end of the contract. When that does not happen, stocks get put on the threshold securities list. And this is basically a list that the NASDAQ does every day to basically tell people, yo, you need to close out these positions. They technically have T plus 35. So they have about 35 days to technically close out of these positions. But once you're on the threshold securities list, you usually have about two weeks to close out of your positions at that point. This happens mostly because of options. It can happen due to naked shorting. And I mean, look at AMC stock recently. I'm not going to say naked shorting is happening i don't know if you can see my wink there but something is happening now you've seen a lot of option activity recently lots of bearish option activity recently like these trades are massive huge and what you've seen is it's been very negative Lots of puts coming through. Lots of lots of puts. It's not like you're on the threshold securities list and AMC has been going higher. No. I mean, you've been going lower for a while now. And the option flow has been so, so negative. Well, what the threshold securities list essentially is to me, everyone's going to have their own definition or thought process on if it's important, if it's not. It's not an end-all, be-all that you're about to see a rally. But pretty much every time you've been on the threshold securities list in the past, you have seen some degree of a rally. Obviously, June of 2021, biggest example, the stock went up 10x in value. A little bit more than that. So that's a great example to point out. A lot of the time, you get smaller rallies. But what it essentially tells you is there is millions of shares that will need to be bought back and again some of it has to do with options none of it ever has to do with naked shorting hopefully you're seeing the wink here so it's guaranteed buying pressure it's highlighting a problem and that does put pressure on shorts overall now, again, you've seen a lot of very bearish option activity. And what I've said in multiple videos now is you don't want to be the guy that is being bearish when everyone else is. Literally, Warren Buffett said it first, probably. I, I, I don't know if he really said it first, but he's the most famous um, person that said it. Buy when others are fearful or buy when others are uh, uh, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Okay. So that's basically telling you when everyone is bullish, don't be bullish. When everyone is bearish, be bullish. And specifically with AMC stock, everyone is bearish. I mean, look at the positive order value today. 2%. You've seen 65 orders totaling almost $27 million. 2% was positive today? I mean, that's 98% bearish. I don't know how much more bearish you could get from here. You're, you're at the most bearish point. Now, a couple things 
to consider. Every time AMC is oversold on the RSI, the stock has bounced. What happened today? You got oversold on the RSI. The stock hit a low of $4.01 per share. You were down about 3.84% today in regular trading. You popped almost 2% in after hours. People in the trading community were calling this a V-shape. Because it literally, I mean, looked like a V-shape. Or the star of like a Nike swoosh kind of thing. And if you guys want to join that link down below in the description of this video. But nonetheless, the historical performance of AMC to buy AMC every time you're oversold in the RSI is telling, right? You typically want to be a buyer at these levels. Now, I think specifically with this catalyst, couple things to consider. Every time AMC has raised capital in the past, the stock has rallied. Why is that? Well, it goes against the short thesis. Every time AMC raises capital, it makes the probability of going bankrupt smaller and smaller. So that's something that's pretty easy to sit here and say like, yeah, AMC raises capital, less chance of going bankrupt. That's bullish. This time around could be huge, up to $16 billion that will be raised. So that's something that I that I think about. At the same time, everyone is bearish. That usually means something bullish is coming. Just reverse psychology at its fullest. And then just the structure of AMC after this reverse split. The float is going to be a lot smaller. So for the same volume to come into AMC, it's going to move the stock around a lot more like a GME. You got less shares outstanding. The stock moves around a lot more. And that's going to be the case for AMC as well when the flow is smaller. So that's something else that I think about. But really the main thing that I think about on top of all of this is if AMC raises $16 billion in capital or anything close to that, you're not going bankrupt, buddy. I mean, it's just not going to happen. And that would be a reason to cover on short positions right there. Now, again, every time AMC has raised capital, the stock has rallied. This is not, you know, rocket science here. This is very easy to see. So all of these factors make me very bullish. Uh, again, another way to look at this is everyone was in this arbitrage trade for this, you know, conversion, right? Conversion happens. There's no need for a lot of people uh, or or no want for a lot of people to be short in AMC at that point. And the shorts are out there in a big way. The option activity, massively bearish. That has a lot of those artificial short positions on AMC via the market makers because every time you see, uh, you know, those big orders coming in for those deep in the money puts, Market makers have to go out and short stock, right? So that right there is causing a lot of shorting pressure on AMC. But also the straight up legal short interest sitting at 24% right now. That's high. That's very high. The shares out on loan at about 200 million. The free flow out on loan at 38.5%. Huge discrepancy here between the short interest at 24% and the free flow out on loan at almost 39% weird it's just weird at that 515 million dollars worth of short positions currently in amc stock days to cover at the highest level it's been at in over 18 months you are higher today by 271 percent on the days to cover than 18 months ago 18 months ago the days to cover was 2.38 today you're almost nine that's bullish Cost to borrow trailing three month average at 135.44% and 100% share utilization for almost 18 months straight. <laughs> There's not a lot of shares out there. Now, cost to borrow fees as well. Cost to borrow fees, interactive brokers just in the past week have went from about 65% to 200%. That's telling you a lot of volatilities to come. And the share availability has really fallen off of a cliff as well. I mean, you went from even June 21st, three trade, three trading days ago at about a hundred thousand, 200,000, 150,000 shares available to literally nothing. 
zero, 700, 600, 1,000, 2,000 shares available. Almost nothing now. And that's happening for a reason. People don't want to lend out stock because a lot of volatility is to come. That's a big reason why cost of borrow fees are sky high. Now, cost of borrow average sitting at 361%, cost of borrow max at 385.5%, and cost of borrow minimum at 0.35%. Cost of borrow fees are sky high as well. So, actually, this week, we're going to get the, the, the court date, right? And that's going to be June 29th. Is it possible we fall a little bit upon the judge confirming this? Sure. But I don't expect a big drop from here. I think you've really seen that bad news get priced into AMC stock fully as of the last two or three trading days now where AMC has fallen about 10% in total. That's it. As I said in the last video, I think the downside is over. It's done. So at that point, the only place to go is up. This is pretty straightforward, right? You just fall so much that the only place to go is up. I mean, that sounds like a second grader made up that theory. But it's true. And it's it's really, you know, what I'm looking at as of right now and how I'm feeling about this company. Now, I don't really think you could get a short squeeze until after this reverse split actually happens. Sure, is it possible? Yeah, I don't expect a short squeeze until this um, reverse split happens. It could happen on Friday. If the judge okays this, it could happen in the next following Monday. It could be a month after the judge rules on the the settlement and allows this to go through or not. So it's uncertain when this would exactly take place. I imagine it would happen pretty quickly. That's why I think the month of July is going to be very, very bullish, guys. As far as the option activity as well, I talked about this in the last video. For the next two weeks... For really between, uh, I guess, the next three weeks, uh, from June 30th to July 14th, you don't have a lot of option activity, especially on July uh, 7th and July 14th, as well as they're not major expirations. They're the, the options that kind of pop up within two months to expiration. So you don't have a lot of option activity there. It's a possibility that you do start to get some bullish inflows as well, especially if you do get the reverse split. And people start to buy these options and uh, drive mark makers to uh, buy more shares of AMC. And that could be bullish. The next thing I'll leave you off with is not everyone knows, and I talked about this in the last video as well, not everyone knows out there in the markets, your average investor that is not an ape, that is not an AMC, does not know about this court proceeding happening with AMC. They just don't. It's not mainstream. You really have to search for any news on this court proceeding. So after this reverse split happens, that might actually drive a lot more attention to AMC. Possibility there. And I, I think that is something a lot of people don't talk about as well uh, here in this community, guys. But that is going to do it here for this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Most importantly, let me know what you guys think about all of this information down below in the comment section. Would love to get your feedback and opinions on all of it. You guys enjoy your weekends. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.